A groundbreaking development in the field of vaccines has emerged with the introduction of a novel nanoparticle that significantly enhances their potency. Greetings, everyone. Today we will be delving into a fascinating subject. Researchers at MIT have made an intriguing discovery regarding a specific kind of nanoparticle known as a metal organic framework, MOF. These nanoparticles have the remarkable ability to activate the body's innate immune system, which serves as the first line of defense against any harmful pathogens. This activation occurs through toll-like receptors, which are cell proteins. Through their study on mice, the researchers demonstrated that the MOF could effectively encapsulate and deliver a portion of the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein. Additionally, once the MOF is broken down inside cells, it also acts as an adjuvant. Although further research is required to adapt these particles for use as vaccines, this study highlights the potential of such structures in generating a robust immune response. Without any further delay, let us commence our discussion on this captivating topic. Fragments of viral or bacterial proteins are utilized in numerous vaccines, such as those for hepatitis B and whooping cough. In addition to these protein components, adjuvants are frequently incorporated into these vaccines to enhance the immune system's reaction to the proteins. The majority of these additives are composed of aluminum salts or alternative compounds that elicit a general immune reaction. However, a group of scientists from MIT has recently demonstrated that a specific type of nanoparticle known as a metal organic framework, MOF, is also capable of inciting a robust immune response. This response is achieved by stimulating toll-like receptors, which are cell proteins responsible for activating the innate immune system, the body's initial defense mechanism against any invading pathogen. During a study conducted on mice, the scientists demonstrated the effective encapsulation and delivery of a portion of the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein using this particular MOF. Furthermore, once the MOF is disintegrated within cells, it also functions as an adjuvant. According to the researchers, although further work is required to modify these particles for vaccine purposes, the study illustrates the potential of this structure in eliciting a robust immune response. According to Anna Jacklinek, a principal investigator at MIT's Koch Institute for Integrative Cancer Research and one of the senior authors of the study, understanding the potential of drug delivery vehicles to enhance adjuvant immune responses could greatly assist in the development of novel vaccines. Today, the esteemed publication Science Advances features a paper co-authored by Robert Langer, an MIT Institute professor and member of the Koch Institute, and Dan Baruch, director of the Center for Virology and Vaccine Research at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center and a professor at Harvard Medical School. The lead author of this groundbreaking study is Shahad Al-Sayari, a former MIT postdoc and Ibn Khaldun Fellow. The focus of their research was on a remarkable material known as ZIF-8, a metal organic framework composed of tetrahedral units consisting of a zinc ion and four imidazole molecules. While previous studies have demonstrated the ability of ZIF-8 to enhance immune responses, the precise mechanism through which this particle activates the immune system remained elusive. In an effort to unravel this mystery, a group of researchers from MIT developed a novel vaccine. This experimental vaccine is composed of ZIF-8 particles containing the receptor binding protein, RBD, of SARS-CoV-2. These particles, which range in size from 100 to 200 nanometers, have the unique ability to directly access the body's lymph nodes or enter immune cells like macrophages. Upon cellular entry, the MOFs undergo degradation, thereby liberating the viral proteins. The scientists observed that the imidazole constituents subsequently trigger toll-like receptors, TLRs, facilitating the activation of the innate immune response. According to Al-Sayari, the process can be likened to the formation of a covert operative team on a molecular scale. This team is responsible for delivering crucial components of the COVID-19 virus to the body's immune system, triggering targeted immune responses that enhance the effectiveness of vaccines. Analysis of cell RNA sequencing from the lymph nodes revealed that mice who received a vaccination containing ZIF-8 particles carrying the viral protein 
exhibited robust activation of the TLR7 pathway, resulting in heightened production of cytokines and other inflammation-related molecules. Mice that were administered these particles through vaccination exhibited a significantly heightened immune response to the viral protein compared to mice that only received the protein. According to Jacklinek, the team has not only improved the delivery of the protein through a nanoparticle, but also utilized the compositional structure of the particle as an adjuvant. This approach has resulted in specific responses to the COVID protein while reducing the required dosage compared to using the protein alone for vaccination. Although ZIF8 has shown immunogenic potential in this study and others, further research is needed to assess the safety and scalability of these particles for large-scale production. If ZIF8 is not ultimately used as a vaccine carrier, the study's findings can still serve as a valuable guide for researchers developing similar nanoparticles for delivering subunit vaccines, Jacklinek explains. According to Jacklinek, the typical structure of subunit vaccines encompasses two distinct elements, an antigen and an adjuvant. However, there is an opportunity to enhance the effectiveness of vaccines by developing novel formulations that incorporate nanoparticles with unique chemical properties. These nanoparticles can serve a dual purpose by facilitating antigen delivery and stimulating specific immune pathways, thereby increasing the potency of the vaccine. According to the researchers, developing a subunit vaccine for COVID-19 offers the advantage of being relatively easier and more cost-effective to produce compared to mRNA vaccines. This could potentially facilitate the global distribution of the vaccine. According to Jacklinek, subunit vaccines have a lengthy history and are generally more cost-effective to manufacture, thereby increasing the availability of vaccines, particularly during times of pandemics. Funding for the research was provided by the Ibn Khaldun Fellowships for Saudi Arabian Women, as well as a partial grant from the US National Cancer Institute through the Koch Institute Support Corps program. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.